Well, I, I think the Myanmar military is on a rampage in multiple parts of the country, employing widespread arson attacks. The figures from data for Myanmar and the Institute for Strategy and Policy indicate some 57,000 houses and churches and, and other buildings that have been torn since the middle of 2021. Um, that's an astonishing level of, of destruction. They particularly aim at churches, monasteries, all religious organizations because they suspect them of, of harboring the PDFs. And they, they do, I'm sure. But the military, when they go into an area, will often occupy a monastery to keep themselves safe. And then they will torch it when, they leave, when they're leaving. They'll destroy it. This is a, a punishment tactic. It's a, it's a terror tactic on, on the part of the military to crush all resistance in these areas, especially in Sigarang, quite dramatically in Chin and, and Maguay as well. But they're using the exact same tactic throughout the country. So it's meant to actually quell um, the, the, the uprising and the resistance in, in these areas. So the army doesn't dare to send columns out into these areas anymore because they get slaughtered. Instead, they're using air power and heavy artillery so that they can go at them from a distance and they go in and torch it. So they have destroyed a, an awful lot of the country this way, particularly the middle of the country where, where the large agricultural production is. I think it's a tried and true method that they've been using for decades. For them, this is their lazy form of counterinsurgency. It's, it's a very brutal approach to pacification. But it never works, and, and that's the thing that the military is, is incredibly obtuse to understanding that their brutal tactics of arson, murder, destruction, looting, all these really quite medieval tactics that they employ always backfire on them. And to them, it's basically this approach that if you dare to rise up against us, if you dare to confront us, this is the punishment that we're going to use. And I think it just drives further resistance. It, it, it doesn't stop it. I would say that the Hunter the military government has a real problem on its hands. I, I don't see how they can win. They'll certainly never have the support of the people again. All of this torching and criminality and killing and basic vis viciousness has really lost the people, lost them forever. <laughs>